Hey motherfuckers, it's Neil, coming to you from scenic downtown Seattle, right here, Seattle Public Library. Uh, I'm starting a series of videos, planning to. I have, for a while, been planning to do a series of videos, and I have an imagining in my head of what they would be like, and they would involve like cool editing, and maybe I'll, you know, find a theme song, and some other stuff like that. Uh, the fact that I don't have the time and or energy or inclination to do all the things involved is one of those things that's keeping me from doing anything and not letting that happen. So if you're watching from the future and you know what these turn out to be, uh, you'll be like, oh, this is a weird thing. I expect that whatever form it'll be, it'll involve me pacing because pacing is how I think probably won't be in loud ass downtown Seattle uh, but I wanted to get this done while I was thinking of it so here's the thing I used to write a blog uh, I was a, you know a pretty early adopter of what was wasn't even called a blog yet was was to become a blog and uh, I Mostly just started out just imitating Mark Evanier's News From Me blog, which is still going and successful, and is still capturing his voice really well. But uh, I felt that mine was no longer doing that. It did find its voice as something different than his, but not as something that any longer felt like the me of my late 40s, rather than me of my, say, late 30s or mid-30s or whenever it was I started doing that. Uh, I'd considered doing a podcast for quite some time, but I found myself thinking that if I was doing any sort of format, uh, whatever it would be, would be the type that would be really easy to get uh, caught up in doing the same thing over and over. Uh, I've certainly heard other ones uh, that I lost track of because they were interesting at first, but they started doing that. Or they, in talking for an hour, talk about the same thing and hit the same points over and over. In fact, uh, the story that I am telling about that right now is that uh, they, there is a podcast that I listen to that I like and respect uh, that was talking about a movie that uh, I like, and I like quite well, I own it. Um, it's not 100% my favorite movie, and in part I own it just because it's one of those ones that you you know, like to see on your shelf, and you like to know 100% you can watch, but it is, perhaps there's a movie like Citizen Kane or something that you're more sure that you'll be able to find down the road. <laughs> uh, I'm a movie nerd, that's the way I think of my movie collection, uh, and I, I literally don't have Citizen Kane, although I do mean to fix that sooner or later. Uh, again, I always assume that I'm going to find it again, uh, even though Previously, like a year or two ago, did anybody notice like it was at least briefly out of print? Seems to be again. But uh, it was like running for $75, and I went, yeah, I'm not feeling $75 for it. If, if I really thought it was never going back in print, I suppose I would have found $75. Bucks. But uh, I was pretty sure it would, and, and lo and behold. So... They were talking about the uh, movie, and and I by and large agreed with them. I like it slightly more than they did, but uh, not a whole lot, uh, not excessively. I disagreed on a handful of small points, and uh, but they kept coming back to one. And the first time I saw it, I was like, okay, well, you know, we have this little disagreement on this. But like by the fifth or sixth time that they came back to the same point, I was really frustrated and kind of annoyed with them. And this is just the amateur podcast talking for an hour kind of thing that a, uh, let's say a professional broadcaster would avoid or something like that, you know. And it, it can at times be part of the charm of listening to amateur podcasts and I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not naming them because I actually really like this podcast. It's one of the few that, you know, hasn't just, you know, left me cold and bored. Uh, so, but I, that doesn't mean that I actually want to do that myself either. I, I, it's, so these can be a shorter format and theoretically can be more of a variety. I want to 
not handle a lot of politics. I have a couple of things that I'd like to cover that are more general that will involve me referencing some of the things that I believe, but without going into detail about that because they're more about the general point than they are about the specifics of, of what I believe. But uh, not because of anything to do with me being against that, uh, against talking about the specifics of my politics. And again, that could be one of those things that you're looking back from the future going, that's all you talk about, you know. Uh, and it's really good, I love it, uh, hopefully. Uh, or you're such a shithead and I just hate watch your videos all the time. And that's, you know, what it is. But uh, I really am hoping not to for a variety of reasons. That is a lot of horns. Uh, one of which is that I just think I am not a guy who's good at that, you know, with uh, negative opinions, whether they be about movies or about politics. I'm not a guy who does well convincing people of the things that, to hate the things that I hate. Uh, I, th I think it's a tougher sell. I, I think that there are people, at least uh, maybe not hate the things that I hate, but there is uh, a need in the world for a certain number of people who can convince people to be angry about the things that they're angry about. The, uh, the you know, the sort of, um, you know, Malcolm X. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not that guy. That's what I'm coming to, you know, I'm, I'm almost... 50 fucking years old, and I'm, I'm coming now to the realization that I am pretty good at convincing people to check out the things that I love, and uh, whether that be, you know, uh, you know, per music or movies or, you know, uh, you know, political ideas, uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, you may turn out to disagree, uh, but my general life experience and, and all these decades has been somehow or another I am able to do that but I'm almost completely unable to convince people to to be angry about the things I'm angry about or to hate the things that I hate so I want this to be a celebratory blog I have uh, a family now uh, that would probably be part of what I'll eventually start talking about and may invite them into this uh, format um, I might uh, you know, we're talking about, uh, I'm, I'm exploring Zen Buddhism, I am, you know, movie nerd, I'm a music nerd, I, I'd like to have, you know, music incorporated, and I'd like to have a lot of things. Uh, eventually this might turn into something, and you'll know what all that was uh, much better than I do, even though I have some ideas. But as with having created a uh, blog that I meant to just be an imitation of Mark Evanier, and turned into something significantly different, uh, you know, uh, not in my opinion is good, but, you know, uh, that's, you know, uh, it turned out to be more me, which was what was fair. Uh, so now I'm doing these videos, and I think that they'll turn into something different than me pacing in front of the library, but they'll probably involve me pacing and maybe editing and, you know, uh, something a little more documentary in nature and uh, probably rambling still because that's who I am and uh, and that will be interesting to somebody or not uh, I have my blog was one of those ones I, I enjoyed it the most when nobody was reading it or before I knew anybody was reading it and then it became a little tough once it was a matter of trying to see how I fit into the group Still not 100% sure how I fit into my peers, like where I ranked. Um, I have contradictory ideas about that, uh, some of which are arrogance and some of which are low self-confidence, some of which are just conflicting supposed facts I got from things. So I really, I would say at this point I have, I have literally no idea how I fit in that. Uh, and I'm less interested than I, I was, but I tried really hard to be as not interested in it as I could because I was much happier and enjoyed the process of doing it the most when it was completely all about just me having, uh, as Stephen King would put it, an ideal reader who just was reading it and I wasn't thinking about what got the most people to read it. Um, I think that was my the least of my, my stuff. Uh, so I'm going to keep 
putting these up. Uh, hopefully they'll be a little shorter or they'll be a little snappier. I'll, I'll do some editing. But I wanted to get this up so that when I had thoughts on other things that I wanted to put up, I would have already done this introduction that I've been meaning to do. And now it's over and you can get on with your life.